you know, you are about to graduate either in a few months or a few years off a cliff. You're going to graduate off a cliff into one of the worst and most challenging economies, not just since the Great Depression, but possibly in human history. And you probably have started to get the suspicion, you have kind of sneaking suspicion, that some of the things that the older generation has told, have told you are just false. Uh, you know, since you're very little, you've been told that if you just work hard and you follow the rules and you do what you're told, it's all going to work out. We promise. Right? And you're now in a situation where you're trying to figure out for yourself, uh, well, first of all, you're trying to figure out for the world what's going on in the world. How do I deal with these big world issues? How do I form a worldview? Um, and you're also trying to figure out how you can get anything other than an unpaid internship for a couple of years after school. You, know, you, you left home with great hopes that you would not have to see these people again called parents. And yet, many of your peers, if not you, think, you know, I might have to move back home for a while. Is that your fault? Did you do something wrong? What is going on in the world is you don't have anything to do and you don't have anything to believe in. And when you have a billion young people wandering the face of the earth with nothing to do and nothing to believe in, you either get chaos of people attacking others or people attacking themselves with homicide and suicide. And you see it every day on the news, no matter what channel you turn to. And nobody's got an answer for these young people. All we do is tell these young people, don't get pregnant, don't shoot anybody, don't do drugs, good luck. Well, I think there's an answer. I think there's an answer. I think you guys have to be the greatest generation because there is something you can be called to do. So you have a destiny. Nobody tells you that. You have a destiny. Do you think you were born for nothing? You were born for something. Not just you. Everything has that call to greatness in it. Even a little acorn has a destiny has a call to greatness inside of it. To be a big oak tree. Now, does every acorn become an oak tree? No, and thank goodness, because it'd be an awful lot of oak trees. But every acorn has that call. You have that call. And your generation has that call, young folk. You got climate change, you got an economy in the garbage can, you got extremism, you got Ebola, you got all these problems, and you have a big, beautiful generation with the wisdom of all people inside of it, with an objective need to make real change, with the example of the 60s generation, you know you can do it, but you've got to take the things that are in your hands and the people that are sitting next to you and say, let's build a world that works for us and build a world that works for our generation. And if you do that, you're going to have liberty and you're going to have justice for all. Thank you very much.